Tracy Stone Manning collaborated with eco-terrorists. She lied to this committee, and she continues to harbor extremist views most Americans find reprehensible. She is thoroughly disqualified from holding the important position of director of the Bureau of Land Management. In 1989, while a grad student in Montana, Tracy Stone Manning collaborated with eco-terrorists who had hammered hundreds of metal spikes into trees in a national forest. This is the kind of spike that these eco-terrorists hammered into trees in our national forest in Idaho. Tree spiking involves hammering a metal rod such as this one into a tree trunk, either at its base where a logger or firefighter might cut into it or higher up where it might mangle a mill's saw blade. Shards of broken blades fly through the air resulting in horrific injuries. Even the Washington Post has labeled tree spiking as eco-terrorism. According to her own court testimony, Tracy Stone Manning edited, typed, and then anonymously sent a profanity-laced threatening letter to the United States Forest Service on behalf of the eco-terrorists. The letter that she typed and sent was not a warning, as she had claimed, but a threat. It includes lines like, you bastards go in there anyway, and a lot of people could get hurt. And she also typed, I would be more than willing to pay you a dollar for the sale, but you would have to find me first, and that could be your worst nightmare. Tracy Stone Manning has said since the incident that she mailed this disturbing, threatening letter to warn people of the danger of the spike trees. But she didn't go to the authorities. She didn't go to the police. She took extraordinary steps to ensure that she and the tree spikers would not get caught. She mailed the threatening letter to the target of the tree spiking to the U.S. Forest Service. In the following months, she, along with others in her circle, would be investigated for their involvement with the eco-terrorist attack. 